Also in Lee County now, a business closure in downtown Bishopville doesn't mean a vacancy for long. The Swamp Log is a popular gallery on Main Street that was brought to town in an effort to revitalize the area. But while it's now closed, our Sam Perez explains there are plans for that empty space. It's dangerous, it's dark, a lot of times it's cold, and it's absolutely filthy work. But it's one of the most fun things I've ever done. Alec Blaylock is an underwater logger. I have a crew and we use scuba gear and we go to the swamps and riverbeds of South Carolina and we recover logs that were lost 100 to 200 years ago when they were harvested by the old swamp loggers out of the original low growth forest. For six years, he's been selling artisan creations from that wood at the Swamp Log in downtown Bishopville. It was part of the Greater Bishopville Committee's effort to revitalize the area. Leaders purchased the two buildings, renovated them, and rented them to Blaylock for five years. Now he's decided to close that store and focus on spending time with family. The building will continue, and I think it will continue in a way that will help downtown Bishopville. Lee County resident and former Swamp Log employee Luke Giddings has bought the two spaces. We have so many buildings and homes in town, they just need some work, and, uh, and I'm young and I got a little bit of energy, so I figured uh, I'd give it a shot. One is now being rented to a church for office space. The other will be turned into a new retail store. Resident Debbie Curvin comes to downtown every day. She's excited to know those buildings won't be empty. I have children and grandchildren and I'd love for them to have something or some place to come to besides the grocery store or drugstore. Reporting in Lee County, Sam Perez, News 19 WLTX. Well, according to Bishopville's Mayor Grady Brown, more future development includes a swimming pool. Brown says the money has already been allocated and they should begin construction sometime around April.